Time to play with some clay. And as you can see, I'm using my fingernails more than I'm using any tool. And uh, that's the way it sometimes works out. Your fingers are your best tools. I'm going to take down the uh, sharp lines that I've put into this clay. I don't want it to be overly de detailed as far as the fur goes. I want to have the fur indicated, but I don't want to have every hair. So, I'm just going to take it back a little bit. And I want to make a uh, armature for the uh, tail. I gotta go get my wire for that. All right, I've got the uh, candle going. And I'm gonna put, make an armature for the tail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the, the wire back on itself, and I'll show you why in a second. That just gives me a little more purchase inside the clay when I put the uh, armature in there. It's always best not to hold on to an aluminum wire when you're heating up one end of it because heat transfers through the aluminum real quick. Okay, center it. And I'm going to push it in as far as I can. Okay, now I'm going to let that clay and I just melted it around the uh, wire. I want it to cool off and solidify it, and that's what will lock the uh, object in the clay. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. I want to wrap it around something round so I get a nice round curl in his tail. And so I got me a bottle of Dijon mustard and I'm going to try that. There. Cut off the end of that. And I'm going to lower it and
I want it touching the back. That way it'll make it easier for them to cast it. Here's what you call creation on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> I really have no idea how this is going to look and if it even would be something a dog would have. I'm just guessing and hoping I'm right. It looks right. Praying I'm not totally wrong. I haven't owned a dog and 40 years. Used to have a lab, and I loved that dog. We uh, trained it to be a seeing eye dog. And it went to a, a gentleman up in, the, in Canada when we finished training it. And then uh, I was divorced when it came back to us. And uh, I never got to see it after. I guess they only keep them for a couple of years at a time, seeing eye dogs. And uh, he had done his two years. And the guy that had him was a TV personality up in Canada. And so the dog was on TV a lot up there. But boy, that was a smart dog. It was a yellow lab. I remember when we brought him home, we put him in the backyard with our beagle. And uh, we had a fenced-in backyard and had scrub oak back there and everything. We figured he'd enjoy himself back there because there was a lot of room to run in. And when he got tired of being out there, he got a stick and brought it up to the back door, the sliding door, and threw it against the door until he got our at attention. That's how smart he was. Just a really brilliant dog. I think it's about time to put this back on the sculpture and see how it looks with the mountain man. Well, I used to have a <coughs> rubber mallet, but I don't can't find it right now. So I'm going to have to use my tomahawk here. <laughs> I've got to reshape this uh, robe so that the dog will be positioned right. And uh, it means I gotta reposition my robe.
There, that's good. I drew lines <coughs> around the uh, base of the dog just so I could reposition it in the correct position I want him. And, uh, Okay, I'm liking this. I may have to cut the dog's head off to work on the detail of face, but I think I'm going to be okay. Mm -hmm. I got the dog sort of looking up at the uh, the baby is what he's doing. Okay. All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow. I just wanted to get this on here today and see how it looked. I, I like the way it looks. It looks good from all the way around. And that's the key is it has to, the whole thing has to work together. But like I said, I may cut the head off the d dog just to, to work on the uh, face of the dog a little more closely. But that's for another day. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.